Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nali, aka Owl Tarot, and I am here to give you guys a daily message. We're going to tap into this energy, see what is going on with you guys, what is the overall messages for today, and possible outcomes. Guys, before we get started, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. It allows me to connect with you energetically, and it definitely helps me out with the growth of the channel. As you all know, my readings are timeless general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. If the reading resonated with you and you would like additional messages and clarity regarding your situation, you can always book a personal reading with me. The information is in the description box below. Alrighty, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Oh sorry and i want to thank each and every one of you for all your love and support it is truly appreciated spirit jumped the gun and didn't let me finish doing my my spiel here so i totally apologize guys so i went ahead and i um pulled your oracle card for today um i wanted to tap into this energy and see what is going on i literally had um shuffled the cards previously and the card before this one that came out was angel of love and then I shuffle again and then angel of love comes back out. So guys, there is either new love coming in or the current relationship that you are in is going to definitely become more of a committed relationship, meaning engagement and marriage. Okay. With this angel of love, it's, it's definitely a new energy of commitment, a new energy of stability, just a whole new energy and love. Okay. So some of you guys have been looking or waiting for Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Well, they're on their way towards you. If you guys are already in a relationship and you've been hoping for this person to commit to you and possibly pop the question, well, guess what? That's definitely coming towards you. Either way, there is a lot of love in the air here, Aries, and there is definitely a commitment on its way towards you all right universe archangel spirit angel guides and guardians please help me give aries clear and concise messages clear and concise messages for aries today universe please let's see here the world so finally coming full circle completing for, for some of you guys you have an awesome career you are at the top of the business ladder. You have everything going for you. Financially, you're good. You have a beautiful home. You just have everything that has to do with your personal, your career, and your finances to par. But love has always been something that you have wondered about. You've wondered if you're ever going to be in a committed relationship, if someone's going to ever come towards you, if you're ever going to find your true love, if you're ever going to be in love, married, and have a family. Well... It is the ending of this lonely cycle, guys. It's finally you coming full completion, coming full circle, and getting to what it is that your heart truly desires. And that's a new love. That's a new commitment. That's a new relationship. There is new love coming towards you, so prepare yourself. With the Queen of Wands, Aries, this is you looking good, looking sexy, looking vibrant. Like, you are, uh, you are on your, on your A-game. You have everything going for you. So you're prepared. But sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you, I just heard Spirit say, people are intimidated by you because, and again, don't take this in any, in any way wrong, okay? But you're very fiery. You're very straight to the point. You let people have it when they need to have it. On top of it, you know, you're very successful. You never needed anyone to make you. You made yourself. You handled your business. So people do look at you in a way kind of they're kind of intimidated of you but i am getting an energy of the person that's coming towards you is also going to be very fiery as you very good looking just like you um very um straightforward very successful just like you so you're actually meeting the person that is going to meet you I'm at the top of the ladder a person that's going to bring to the table just as much as you do this person's going to bring just as much or equally to what you have to offer what else, universe? What else do we have going on here? With the emperor in the reverse here. So some of you guys have been fearing never finding that, that emperor, never finding that commitment, never finding that person. Um, you may have been dealing with some childish people in the past, people that were 
you know, they would come in and they would act like they had everything going for themselves, but then they became so codependent that you literally had to pay to put gas in their gas tank. So you've been dealing with some childish people, and this is why you've kind of been turned off in regards to love or in regards to finding that emperor. Well, guess what? Truth is finally coming through for you, okay? There are new things coming coming through for you. There's new beginnings. There's... It's the right person at the right time type of thing. Some of you guys may actually work in um in the legal field, maybe law enforcement or something that has to do with a lawyer um but there is just something about you being a very strong individual, very um I don't know, but not not controlling. I don't want to call that controlling. I just like very straightforward. So I'm really getting some type of law enforcement energy here. But this is truth finally coming towards you. This is you realizing that, yes, you can find true love. A lot of you guys have been hurt by somebody from the past here, the Six of Cups. Well, please, Aries, understand what I'm going to get ready to tell you, okay? There is someone that's coming back from the past who is returning back towards you. And you're being told, do not entertain this situation, please. Do not entertain this relationship because this person is coming in here with an intention. I just heard that they're coming in here to hold you back from some type of abundance or to block your pers your your perspective to kind of block you from something so you're being told do not entertain this past person because your soulmate the person that is meant to be with you the person that you're meant to be with is on their way but this person is coming in here as a um oh man as a oh spirit help me out please this person is coming in here as a test you're being tested okay there's a situation here with your past person that still hasn't ended. You might need to end a couple of things here with this individual. But you're being told not to entertain this connection for a reconciliation because it isn't going to lead anywhere. This person has a purpose behind their return. So all they're really coming to you is to cause you some type of stagnation, to cause you some type of grief. This is overall a test from universe. So you're being told to really look at the situation before you entertain any type of reconcili reconciliation, reunion or reconciliation with this person. With the two of cups here, there's love coming towards you, okay? There's your soulmate coming towards you. So you're being told to be a little bit patient. I know you've been lonely for a while. You've been missing people. You've been missing, you know, having a relationship or just having somebody there for you to talk to when you get home from work or just being able to, you know, communicate with someone. You miss that. You miss that interaction. So don't get caught up in this attention that this person's going to come and give you because at the end of the day, this person's going to end up walking away. Be a little bit more patient here because with the Two of Cups, your person's on their way. You just have to complete this obstacle that you have coming up towards you to be able to get towards your person here. Final messages here for my Aries, please, universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. Final messages, please. The King of Pentacles. So you're definitely, you may even be dealing with an earth sign here, but the person that's coming towards you is coming to offer you stability. This person is wanting to to really get to know you with the three of cups here this person is wanting to celebrate something with you they wanting to be with you they want to take you out they want to wine and dine you they just want to treat you like a king or a queen okay this person is wanting to spend time with you i feel that you may end up meeting this person at some type of celebration i don't know why i thought a wedding here but there is some energy where you're going to meet this person where it's like a social gathering, okay? So keep your eyes open. Keep your ears open. Listen to your surroundings. Look at your surroundings because there's definitely going to be someone there who is going to catch your eye. And you're going to catch their eye, a very good-looking individual here. You're being told to take this leap of faith with this individual because this person's coming in here for one thing and one thing only. is to offer you love. is to offer you a new beginning. is to offer you the commitment that you have so been wanting and holding off for. Be careful with this past person because they are coming in to cause you some confusion. Don't let this person hold you back because your 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 person, your soulmate, your your person that you're meant to spend your life with is over here. It's not this past person. It's this person. Okay? All right, guys. I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell. And if you want to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.